Hey, what's up? Marco Vazquez here. So as everyone's been talking about OpenAI, I wanted to give it a try in the embedded world because I've been seeing lots of posts of people from the Python community, from the databases, and from the web development, but I've yet to see someone from the embedded world. So I just registered myself and this is my first try. As you can see, I just made the blink circuit and let's ask uh, the AI to write the code for us. So write and um... so quite easy. The this is just the blinky example. void setup okay so i think this will have no problem uh, doing it so pretty good uh, it even gave an, uh, an additional example of how you would delay it for just half a second and obviously this is correct so let's just copy and paste it and upload it here and as you can see it's blinking correctly every half a, every second okay so something a bit more difficult let me think of a new exam of a new challenge for the ai and i'll get back to you okay so i just made a somewhat more complicated circuit now I'm going to ask the AI to use this potentiometer connected to pin A0 and uh, make it either brighter or, or dimmer using a PWM signal. This is also an example for Arduino, for the uh, typical Arduino examples, but I think it's a bit more complicated. So let's give it a try. So write an Arduino program that controls a LED in pin 9 via a PWM signal by means of a potentiometer connected to A0. So let's see how it does. So yeah, pretty good. The setup is okay, the pin modes are okay, and the it simply stores the analog grid in the in a pot in an integer value that then writes in here in the pin 9. So let's try it out. Copy and paste and click upload. Compiled OK and let's give it a try. As you can see, it forgot to divide the analog grid uh, by four because I I'm not sure, but I think that you get a, a value of around a thousand in the analog uh, during that analog grid, and the analog write isn't able only has like a two hundred fifty six uh, resolution, so that's why I'm getting like four deep in brightness here. But anyways, that's pretty good. Let me think for a bit and let's make a somewhat more complicated example. Next circuit, I just wired up a servo motor to pin 9 and I'm just going to ask to sweep the whole, the whole uh, uh, servo motor every 3 or 4 seconds. So let's ask the AI. So write an Arduino program that sweeps the whole range of a servo every four seconds. I think this is also a example for Arduino, but uh, I think it was uh, worded a bit differently. 
Okay, so it included the sweep printer. It seems to be okay. So yeah, I think this uh, will compile perfectly too. another win for the OpenAI. So I think we're going to have to make it a bit more difficult and not just go for the most simple of, ex of examples from Arduino. Let me think of another circuit and I'll get back to you. Okay, so next circuit. I put a OLED screen with I squared two communications, and I'm going to ask the AI to write uh, uh, the average temperature of Spain in a uh, in here. Okay, so let's get back to the AI and write an Arduino program that displays the average temperature of Spain in an I squared two uh, OLED screen with an address of. Uh, 3D. Let's see how it does. So I think this sketch is completely perfect. I don't see any mistakes here. Yeah, I love the comments like uh, if I was begin uh, an Arduino beginner, I'd love to have all these comments here because I remember like f forgetting what uh, the instructions did and uh, I mean the average temperature, he, the AI just assumed the average but everything is uh, perfect. I think this will compile on the p first try. and upload so perfect I uh, I have no words let's uh, let me think for a bit and make a somewhat more complicated circuit okay next idea I just wired up an ADXL345 uh, accelerometer here. This is one of those uh, modules that you get with Arduino that I've never tried. I have no idea how the libraries are. I just downloaded a bunch of libraries on the Arduino. So uh, it's uh, easier to compile and we don't lose so much time. And I'm going to ask the AI to display the X uh, value of the accelerometer here in this screen. So let's get back to the AI. Okay, so write an Arduino program that displays the X axis of an ADXL345 accelerometer with address uh, 0x53 in an I squared C OLED screen with a 3D address. I I think this is a bit more complicated, like uh, I'm quite used to Arduino, but uh, I think this doing this would take me around one hour or two, uh, two hours at most. Let's see how the AI does. <clears throat> okay, so at first glance I see that uh, here he calls the ADXL library as ADXL345 and here it says ADXL345 underscore U. Mm, as I said, I've never worked with this uh, module for the Arduino, so I'll just uh, 
try to do a easy copy paste I'll verify first because I don't think this is going to compile oh my god it compiled I I thought this library didn't exist I mean I just downloaded a few libraries where it said ADXL 345 but I guess one of those libraries was this one, so let's click upload. I can't believe it. Oh my stupid hand uh, the wires are a bit flimsy so but uh, you can easily see that if uh, it's working perfectly ah it it got crazy again I'm extremely impressed with the AI, like uh, I said, I, this, doing this would take me a couple of hours and I consider myself an advanced Arduino level, uh, but wow, look at it, it's doing the inclination perfectly, I can't move it because, ah, let me try it a bit, three... I guess this is like uh, I have no idea what what units this is using, but yeah, you can see that it's working perfectly. Amazing! Like uh, I didn't expect this to do so good. Uh, I'll think of some additional circuit, but I'm impressed. So last circuit, I was searching around my house and I ha I don't have any more complicated circuits, uh, Arduino modules here at my house, uh, but yeah, because I I didn't even have any idea that the AI would be able to display uh, the accelerometer here. So I, I mean, I thought the, this video would end with the second test of the potentiometer and the PWM signal. But uh, here we are, so I have a buzzer and I'll just ask the AI to write a song or to do something uh, funny with this buzzer. Okay, so write an Arduino program that plays smoke on the water through a buzzer in pin 9. Okay, so first uh, here I can see that it forgot the library where all of these nodes are defined but uh, I can easily find this library, so no problem. Okay, so it seems that the AI got stuck here, let me try it again.
Okay, so the AI seems to get stuck when it's like a huge code, but uh, okay. Let's ask for a different song. Mm. Talk again. Let's try with classical music. So it seems that it forgot to add the. Uh, I think it was Tones library. I'll just copy here. And uh, let me search for a bit what was the name of that library. But yeah, it keeps forgetting to add that library. <coughs> okay, so I googled for a bit and the library is called pitches.h and I just copy and pasted the pitches there and let's see if it works That's not uh, classical music, but okay, let's try again. So, to be honest, I'm extremely impressed with the AI. I was sure that it would do the Blink example, the PWM example. I wasn't so sure of the servo. And uh, the thing that impressed me the most was the OLED library and the ADXL. I didn't expect it to even to light up the OLED screen, but... Uh, it did and uh, but it's been like an hour and i've been asking the ai to do the same example and uh, then it was just giving me some garbage it told me to use a weird library that it doesn't exist and uh, like some small details that uh, it wasn't getting correctly but overall i'm like uh, extremely impressed with this ai and uh, I'll keep trying uh, some other examples, no, maybe I'll change to in ESP32, maybe I'll use the their firm framework with the AI, which is like, uh, it is, it, it doesn't have as much information as the Arduino library, so I'm not sure that it will be as good as with Arduino. So that's all for now and thanks for watching.